God bless you, WME family. Welcome back. And let me take this time to thank you. Thank you for standing with us. Thank you for the new subscribers who, are, who have recently subscribed, for those who are liking these videos and sharing these videos. God bless you, family. And we use that term, uh, WME family, because to us, you are our family. We pray for you and, and we thank God for your prayers. And together we're, we're continuing to spread the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to share a message with you today that's found in John chapter 4. In John chapter 4, we read about the woman in, at, at the well, the Samaritan woman. She was there to draw well uh, water from the well. Little did she know that she was going to have an encounter with God that it was going to be a divine encounter. She was there to get some, some water for, for her, her need, but she met Christ there at the well. And when you study John chapter 4 and John chapter 3, John chapter 4 is a parallel of John chapter 3. The Bible in John chapter 3 speaks of Nicodemus coming to Jesus at night. Well, Jesus came to the Samaritan woman during the day. Uh, Nicodemus was a religious man, and yet the Samaritan woman is a, is a woman with a, a bad reputation, a woman of sin. And so we see the, the, the differences in lifestyles. We don't hear about the decision that Nicodemus made, but we see that the woman responded to the message of Christ. And as we look at this story in John chapter 4, we don't have time to go over the whole chapter, but as we look in verse uh, 23, Jesus tells the woman, The hour comes and now it is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks such to worship him. There was a division there. The Samaritans didn't have dealings with the Jews and the Jews didn't have dealings with the Samaritans. There was a, a, a division because of ethnicity. And we see that today in society. We see so much division in, in society over uh, pig, pigmentation, over the color uh, of somebody's skin. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. It doesn't matter your ethnicity. What matters is if, if you're willing to accept Jesus Christ, these standards are the same for all men, that these truths are the same for anybody. It goes and, and it doesn't matter your culture. It doesn't matter what nation you're, you're from or what, what country you're from. These truths uh, uh, stand the test of time. We have so much people that are shifting their beliefs. They're, they're caving to the culture, they say. They're, they're uh, accommodating to, to what's hip today. They're going along to, 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 their, to get along. And, and yet these truths are still the same. Jesus said, my words are spirit and they're life. And so we, we see that there was a division there. And, and uh, for her to, to receive her blessing, she had to get over that division. She had to get over that separation. And so when she heard the message, the message of God touched her life. And Jesus, and she said, well, we worship over here and you guys worship over here. And Jesus said, I'm not, uh, I'm not concerned about location. It's not about location. It's about your heart. It's about your, your, your surrender to God. It doesn't matter the building you're in. Uh, I, I believe too many times here in the West and in America, we're, we're consumed with the building, the lighting, the sound system, the equipment. It's not about the equipment. It's not about the lighting. It's not about having the perfect sound. It's about getting the heart right. It's about preaching the true message of God. It's about delivering the message of God to the hurting. And so Jesus said, it's not about the mountain. It's not about the location. But the worshipers who worship me, worship me in spirit and in truth. In spirit, because there's that encounter with the Holy Spirit. There's the anointing of God that, that's there. In truth, because it, you have to there's a way you have to serve God. You have to serve God with understanding, with knowledge. And so he says, in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeks such to worship him. God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. There has to be that surrender there. Maybe you're watching this video and you've never surrendered your life to Christ. We pray that 
uh, through this video and, and, and through the, the literature and through the evangelism that we do, many would come to know Christ. They would surrender their, their hearts to the gospel and would follow the Lord. The woman said, I know that Messiah is coming, which is called Christ. When he, when he has come, he will tell us all things. And Jesus said unto her, I am he that speaks unto thee. And here he's revealing he's the answer. He's not one of the, he's, he's not one of the answers. He is the answer. And that's what we're proclaiming around the world. That's why God has us here. That's why we do these programs. That's why we, this ministry continues. Because we're interested in seeing people come to the Lord. We want people to get saved. We want people to, to not only be fed, not only be, be clothed, and not only uh, have, uh, have a warm place to stay. And, and that's a part of what we do. Uh, we, we, we help in, in educational programs. We help in, in schooling and providing a warm meal. But most of all, we want people to know about the Lord. We want people to, to see the love of God in action. That's why we're doing what we're doing around the world and here in the USA. Because people need to know that Jesus is the answer. We're living in a society and in a time now where everything is messed up. Don't look to society to solve your problems. Don't look to the scientists because every so often they change their, their conclusions. Don't look to education, to academia, because I've known so many people come out of academia and, and, and they lack so much common sense. Don't look to politicians because uh, most of them are, 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 are fake. Most of them are, are, are liars. Look to God. He's your answer. Don't, look to, don't even look to man because man will let you down. But God will never let you down. And Jesus said, I am he. I am the answer. And that's the message that we're proclaiming here. And that's the message that the church needs to proclaim. And now, more than ever, now as, as, as bad as we see things uh, 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 coming, as, as bad as we see things all around us and in society, it's time for us to stand up, church and to preach this gospel to a lost and a dying world. We love you. God loves you. Thank you for watching. World Missionary Evangelism has been taking care of children. It started with just a few little orphans in India and has grown to touch thousands over the last five decades. But what does child sponsorship mean? Well, child sponsorship means that someone just like you is providing food, clothing, medical care, an education, and in many cases, a home in which to live for children who have no one to turn to. Yet through child sponsorship, there's a bridge built, a bridge from nightmares to dreams, an opportunity for those dreams to be realized through education, an opportunity for that child who had no future now to be blessed with a future that lifts others up as you lifted him up. Why don't you pray about and think about sponsoring a child today? Thank you for watching The Path with Daniel Moore. Sponsored by World Missionary Evangelism. May God bless you.